A blade embraces its duty, as a jeweler cherishes their gems. As a matter of fact, there's one that looks perfect for you two. Uncle Dai is one of the foremen at Huishan Hall over in Liyue Harbor. He's hoping the Adventurer's Guild can spare some manpower. What is it we have to do exactly? I believe you'll be looking for workers. Ooh, looking for people? Awesome! We're good at that! I have no reason to doubt your abilities. I'm sure the details can be worked out face to face. If you're willing to accept this commission, head over to the dock and talk to Uncle Dai. Indeed. Ah, now then. You must be the adventurers assigned by the guild. Huh? How could you tell? <laughs> by the clothes on your back and the look on your face. Experienced adventurers at that, I'll wager. Right again? You're pretty perceptive. <laughs> In this trade, you need a sharp eye for people, not just rocks. Uncle Dai can see what you're made of from a long way off. All right. My assistant should be arriving soon, so let's just wait here a moment. Woo woo! That's why we're here! Now there's someone else taking a cut? Well, to tell you the truth, this is a very difficult matter. Too much for adventurers alone to handle life here. Hmm. So there is someone else! Do you think we're not up to the job? It just occurred to me that you don't have all the facts. The incident in question happened in a mine, and it's a little out of the ordinary, to say the least. Mines are dangerous places, as I'm sure you're aware. As such, I've enlisted an industry expert to cover all contingencies. Last time I checked, adventurers weren't experts in ore appraisal or geological analysis. With a professional by your side, everything should run smoothly. Besides, this guy's the best in his field. No matter the rock, he'll tell you its value to the nearest mora at a glance. I'd go as far to say that there's not a soul in Tevat that knows rocks better than him. I'd be a fool to not enlist an expert of his caliber. You're a fool if you think you found Tevat's number one rock expert. Oh? And why might that be? Because Tevat's number one rock expert happens to be a friend of ours. Ha ha! Didn't expect that, did you? Wait here, we'll go fetch him. Hanovitz Zhang Li is listening to the storyteller. Let's head over. You're a rock expert. What does he look like? In our last tale, Rex Lapis. Zhang Li, there you are! Oh, here for a few tales. I didn't know you two were connoisseurs. Oh, no, no, we're here for you! Um, do you have time? Ah, something I'm rarely short of. We need someone who understands geology and ore! Hmm, 
Someone who understands geology and ore. Ugh. Take a look around. Is there anyone into that more qualified? The requester claims to have enlisted to Vat's number one rock expert, but Paimon doesn't believe a word of it. Nobody understands rocks better than you. <laughs> you appear to have taken his claim quite personally on my behalf. Oh, no, no. It's just... Uncle Dai doesn't know what he's talking about. Paimon just wants to enlighten him. <laughs> I see. Well, then, it will be my pleasure to accompany you. Really? But I should inform you that despite my expertise, I cannot necessarily claim to be a leading authority. We are at all times adrift in a sea of learning. New knowledge should be welcomed with open arms. Still, I imagine I will be of help to you in this endeavor. If we do encounter an expert, I look forward to broadening my own understandings. Young Lee. Well, we got him. Let's head back to Uncle Dai. Born of ice and frost. Come and see these rare and precious woods. Let me tell you how. This must be the friend you spoke of? Yep. Hyman doesn't know who your rock expert is, but he's got nothing on our guy. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, I do have a claim to some experience in this field. Uh-huh. So you say. Wait till my guy gets here. Then we'll see. It's no use me singing his praises. You'll have to see for yourselves. Uh, is this the place? Aha! Speak of the devil. Allow me to introduce my assistant, Kun Jun. Young Kun, these are two adventurers assigned to us. And as for this gentleman... Huh? Uh... Longsheng Funeral Parlor's consultant. Mr. Zhang Li! I've heard about you. They say you're a man of great knowledge and many talents. I had no idea I'd be meeting you in person today. I'm sure I recognize you. Have we met at the parlor? Wait, I've never been to the parlor. Uncle Dai, aren't you gonna test them? Huh? I... I wouldn't know where to start. Then they can figure out a way to test each other. If Zhang Li wins, he's the assistant. If Zhang Li loses... Uh, uh, never mind, Zhang Li won't lose. A contest? Why, it would be my pleasure. I admire your enthusiasm, good sir. <laughs> I must say, you certainly have the look of an industry expert about you. It'll be interesting to see which one of us wins. Stop talking the talk and start walking the walk! I'm just saying it like I see it. <laughs> which is, incidentally, the only skill I have worth talking about. So you're an appraiser, Mr. Kunjun. Well, no. Actually, I've already forgotten what I'm in Liyue Harbor for. I was standing by the side of the road one day when Uncle Dai called me over. He saw me holding a rock and asked me a few questions. He seemed incredibly excited, even followed me for a while. Huh? How could you forget something like that? I saw him on my way over to Liyue Harbor, poring over rocks and muttering to himself. He looked to be very familiar with them. I asked him a few questions out of curiosity. To my surprise, he knew more than me, an old mining foreman. In any case, he didn't have any pressing matters and agreed to help me. So, do you have a poor memory? Not exactly. Anyway, if it's rocks you need help with, I can most certainly lend a hand. Mr. Zhongli, what do you make of this rock? Hmm. A glossy exterior, with a fissure that could only have been left in the wake of a volcanic eruption. If I'm not mistaken, this is a rough gem from another nation. Ah, a keen eye! It's no ordinary rough gem. Fragile surface layer, black veining. My intuition tells me that there's high-quality crystal ore inside. 
Remarkable! This rock does indeed hail from the vicinity of a volcano. I came across it in a market and snapped it straight up. The seller thought it was some leftover industrial remnant. They had no inkling of the treasure that lay within. Purity and geological rarity alone aren't enough to make a treasure. Some of the most precious crystals contain deposits of water or sand. In the moment of its formation, the crystal hidden within this stone shell captured a pocket of water. For water to be hidden in its depths, like a moon concealed within a mountain, reflecting shafts of daylight that make it through. Now that's a rare treasure. Such a detailed description. Almost like he saw it with his own two eyes. Say, you're not trying to hoodwink us, are you? After all, we haven't even seen what's inside yet. Everything he said is true. Most crystals are born in high temperature environments. Heat and water aren't natural bedfellows, of course, which is why crystals with water deposits are so sought after. Moreover, this particular crystal contains mountain lake water. A rare find indeed. Well, if Zhang Li says so, it must be true. I have yet to encounter anyone with a judgment as shrewd as yours, Mr. Zhang Li. How did you know exactly what lay within? I've seen many such stones in my time. I recognized it immediately. Of course not! I feel I've met a kindred spirit here today. I hope, Uncle Dai, it would be a mistake for Mr. Zhongli not to join us. Trust me when I say that his level of expertise is unrivaled in the trade. You won't come across another of his caliber in your lifetime. Very well. There is strength in numbers, after all. Everyone, follow me to the chasm. There are men counting on you to find them. This is where the incident occurred. Six days ago, a group of us left the site to attend to other matters. When we returned, the four men we'd left behind had vanished. I led a team around the entire mine, but found no trace. That's when I decided to enlist help. So four miners have disappeared. Yes, there were ten of us. We lost Long, Bold Sen, Brave Sen, and Mao. I worked with all of them. Workers in this trade are usually young men in the prime of their lives. Could it be that the four of them left for another mine? <sighs> Unlikely. There's no other lodging for miles around, and we didn't pass any other mines on the way over. Huh. Such a huge mine. 
Did you really manage to explore every corner? Underground, overground. We left no stone unturned. We tried everything short of digging further into the earth itself. We'll need to explore the site ourselves before extracting any conclusions. Very well. I'll wait here. Please, proceed wherever you'd like. If you come across any clues, let me know straight away. So strange! How could the four of them just suddenly disappear? Did they run away from something? Let's look around first and see if we can find any clues. I'll leave the investigations to you. Over here! A pile of shirts, some... Huh. A few everyday items. They must belong to Uncle Dai and his men. One, two, three, four... Huh. That seems right. Ten shirts, ten pairs of trousers. These must be spares, right? Look, Uncle Dai's clothes are identical! The four of them have been gone for six days without a change of clothes. There's also a few handkerchiefs and some soap lying around. Uh Items for washing one's face before the dawn shift. Mining equipment. So, they didn't take any supplies. Hmm. Correct. Improbable. There are four pickaxes missing. It seems likely they left with the tools of their trade. They had time to take their tools, but not their everyday items? Curious. Huh. Why would someone set off with their tools, but leave their luggage behind? One, they were working close by and didn't need to move their personal effects. But seeing as they've yet to return, this seems an unlikely hypothesis. Or two... They were forced to leave, and had no time to think about their supplies. Oh! It's certainly a possibility. We'll need more clues before any further inference can be made. If they didn't leave, maybe they were made to leave. Let's make a note and let Uncle Dai know. Right on time. Did you find anything? There's a chunk of ore here. Perhaps there are clues within. Ore? What does it have to do with the disappearance? Let's find out. I'll give it a try. <sighs> okay. really hard. What's he up to? I see... four men following someone out of the mine. It... it looks like a child. A child? What's a child doing in a mine? I'm not sure. Also, how did you... see anything? Exactly. Oh, I don't mean see in the traditional sense. I, I, I would appreciate it if what I'm about to tell you remained a secret. It's a little odd. I've never dared to tell anyone before. I can perceive the memories of Orr. Huh? Perceive? So there's no conjecture at work? your hand on- I've always sensed that ore contains memories. Sometimes it records events that occur in the surrounding area. All I have to do is touch one and focus my attention, and the memories come to me. Amazing! So you can find out everything that ever happened there! It depends on the ore. Some ores have astounding memories. Others, like iron ore and white iron ore, aren't up to much. Their memories are hazy. 
Core Lapis and Crystal memories are much stronger. They record more events and in greater detail. Stone seeing. <laughs> Fascinating. A rare ability indeed. It was prudent of Uncle Dai to recruit you, Mr. Kunjun. <laughs> I'm glad I can be of assistance. Based on what I saw, I believe they followed this path. This will take us north, away from the mine. North? Another clue for Uncle Dai! Let's make a note of it! Could it be that the child I saw kidnapped them? <laughs> <laughs>